Greetings shipmates, welcome to a new episode of Let's Make Mistakes. Today we're going to be looking at the Tier 9 Benham, the ship that is available from the Armoury, from the Savage event by collecting 800 fuel takens. Now how have I acquired this already without spending a huge amount of money on crates or becoming a CC? Neither of which have happened. So bearing in mind that I was never ever going to be able to finish the combat mission for 100 fuel tokens, what I did was earlier on at the start, this one here, was make sure that I got the hill and by getting the hill you get three extra tokens a day so you can do those three tokens a day plus the daily ones which you could do giving you a total of nine a day which got me very close uh, I've done all the directives and done all the savage battles which have taken me up to this and today when I acquired the hill I was given the doubloon value which then enabled me to from the premium shop is get sorry not from the premium shop from the armory is get four containers which gave me the last well it was 64 I think it was that I needed or 57 because I think I've got a few left over now yeah three left over so that gave me the last of the containers so for the price of just getting the hill we got the hill and the venom and here she is and we're going to play the first game with her live and see what happens so um, we've got the standard suite of upgrades on the ship uh, my captain off of my gearing so we do have a torpedo reload down from to 66 seconds uh, she's got detect base detection of 5.9 uh, reasonable guns 3.3 I think they were 3.5 depending but obviously that would change with BFT if you were running it which I'm not on this captain build I've gone this risk purely as a torpedo boat and um, let's see what happens I remember the last time I done this this only really works if the game ends up as a win so I could be talking for 5 10 15 20 minutes for no apparent reason whatsoever but we will find out soon enough so looking at our quick team composition radar is not going to be a problem for us which is interesting apart from the misery but then if we get close enough for him to radar us we've probably already done something else wrong in the first place so let's have a look domination mode I've got HIPAA for backup I am going straight to alpha we're already loaded yep we do have reload 3.3 seconds uh, premium smoke. I elected to go for the defensive AA fire control instead of um, speed boost. Obviously, with the current meta being CV heavy, it seemed a more sensible choice. Until, of course, I get into this game and find there's no CV. So now it's pointless, but you never know. Those pesky spotter planes do tend to get in the way from time to time. So, my plan here is to move into A swiftly. Uh, checking on detection range. So, she's got pretty low surface detection along with a Fletcher. Oh, the Lenin grab we out spot. 5.9 that's all right but look how quick these torpedoes come up so we've got two banks on either side so we can kind of wiggle our way and fire the two on the left fire the two on the right and be done with it right we don't have any cruiser support from behind so it might change our plan somewhat but we'll see I think for now we're still going to carry on pushing in let's see what we end up with RPF already pointing towards us behind the back of the island. Let us know there's something around there. Indeed, let my teammates know the same thing. Uh, the Mayhans in a reasonable session. And right here we go. Here we go. Showtime. So if I move gently towards the edge here, I might be able to pick up what it is. Let's just preemptively torpedo that. And then start bringing the boat backwards. Oh, there we go, Leningrad. I'm gonna drop my smoke. If we could take his engine now, that'd be nice. We have one torpedo confirmed hit. There's a good chance he'll be doing the same. So I'm gonna move forwards. And that's a very encouraging start. There's the torpedoes we were expecting as well. There goes the Helena heading off round the back. Now our torpedo range is 9.2. She's reading in there, isn't she? 10, 9.9. Right, let's push to the middle. And see if there's any chance whatsoever that she may... Is that going to clear that? Go around that corner. Right, so preemptively torpedoed. 
Still got a lovely, nice bulb of supply of um, smoke over there that we can probably use in a minute. Look at that. I've already finished and turned and fired them torpedoes. And the torpedoes from the other side are already ready. Uh, gun range isn't a bad 12.6 kilometres. If I could make that kid turn this way a little bit, I might be able to make it back to my smoke here and start farming him before I start worrying about those battleships over there. So that's what I'm going to try and do. He's right on the edge of our gun range, isn't he now? Yeah, so we're not going to get that done. But we have managed to take this cap. With, they're down two DDs. We know there's a Helena knocking around over there. No CVs. RPF is still behind that rock. So she's not coming, is she? Right, in which case, let's go and have a play over here with these battleships. 9.2, a little gamble that's going to reach. Right, they've now lost. They've now lost the kid in the middle as well. So what I'm going to do is I want to turn and come round and bring my torpedo tubes to bear on the other side of the ship as well. Now there is a slim chance that we're going to get too close to the Missouri and get radar here. Captain Aimbot, what a cool name. <laughs> there we go. She doesn't tend to. It doesn't seem to accelerate very quickly. That's a standard trait, though. Nine point four. I'm going to risk this a little bit because I can get the torpedoes out. I think she's starting to. She's starting to reverse. No, she's not. Well, that's about as close as we want to go. I'm going to turn the boat around again, bring it back around the other way, because the tubes should about be done on the other side of the boat. Well, we've been surface detected by the Fletcher, so we're going to be engaging in gun battle now. We do have smoke in a second, so I'm going to make use of that as well. He's doing the same. He wasn't my primary target. Right, we just took his torpedo tubes out. Where are they? Those other boats have moved a little bit further away, so we're just going to carry on a gun. Let's gun the Fletcher. Let's get rid of him first. Always risky manoeuvring like this in smoke, but I'm keeping as slim a profile as I could. Are those torpedoes going to reach him as well? They are. Right, that's a permanent flood now. Did we get one before? We did. So he's not going to put that up. So we're going to stay on him. Farm him down for a little bit as well. Yeah, I thought he's already dead. We'll see if we can finish him off and then we can move on to the, uh, the Helena that's going to start harassing the Jean Bart shortly. Going for another repair. Be nice to get the fire. The Alaska's pushing his way through the smoke as well. He fancies getting in on the action. Not getting the fires we need just yet. I mean, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Let's be honest. We are going to leave the smoke. I'm aware of that. But. Our risk is kind of limited to him at the moment. And the King George, and they are in serious, serious trouble. Fire should finish him off. Not my fire. Oh, I lie. It was. So, oh, I was thinking about torpedoing, but the position of the Alaska there is going to make that... Uh, somewhat iffy, so I'm going to make my way over towards... No, no, they're going to go down as well. This is going to be a very short commentary. I was hoping to show off the ship. We did get a chance to at least look at what the torpedoes did on that quick swing from left to right. And what the guns are capable of. And that's the end of the game. I'm going to put that up anyway because it was interesting to see what she did. But damn, that was a short game. A very, very short indeed. We did manage to finish on the top though, so we did we did get through a fair amount of work very, very quickly there. But yeah, there wasn't a lot going on, was there really? But we got the talks out, uh, we got some hits on the uh, Misery. What did we get? We got two torpedoes into him and the Flood, the Leningrad and the Fletcher. So we was able to push and take advantage there. Let's have a quick look at the build of the ship, shall we? 
And back to pull back to our modules. We have in our first slot we have our main armament one. Uh, the other options, the stand options are available, but I went with main armaments. Uh, propulsion system, because that sits alongside um, t -t 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 last stand. So as long as I've got propulsion, I can steer. Aiming systems modification. That might be able to change. You could go with AA, depending on what you're playing. But I prefer the aiming systems mod, and it does traverse the tubes quicker, as if you need it. Uh, propulsion mod to get the boat going very, very quickly when those do torpedoes do turn up in the smoke and you have cocked it up. Uh, our standard concealment expert followed up with torpedo tubes modification so we get the reload on these things down to a rather stonking 65 seconds part of that is coming from oven chicken and uh, the skills we got on him so we got priority target adrenaline rush last stand uh, this big one here the torpedo armament expertise we reload them a little bit faster sometimes traded out with uh, superintendent for the extra consumables Sometimes change with BFT as well for extra main battery reload, depending on what game mode you're playing. And then Survivor is the expert just to buff the HP. Uh, I like RPF, I like to find out what's going on. I mean, arguably, you could maybe drop RPF and take Superintendent if you wanted to, and then something on here like preventative maintenance. Uh, but that's up to you, and of course, Concealment Expert bringing her down to a rather healthy from the surface 5.9. Uh, that was a very quick commentary on the newly available for Mortals Benham. Um, I will do a better one when uh, the opportunity arises. Uh, but for now, I am going to leave the ship there for you to mull at. And thank you for taking the time to watch. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. And until we sync again, bravado out.